Director General of Police, David Asante Apito, is at the moment responding to questions from the Defense and Interior Committee over the fatal shooting of the policeman at Kwabinya. The committee has also been demanding assurances from the IGP on the safety of his personnel. Now, uh, Opoku Gakpo, what more can you tell us about this probe? So I'm currently reaching you from the seventh floor of the Job 600 building in Parliament, which houses the offices of various members of Parliament. Um, a few meters away uh, is the committee room where this particular meeting is ongoing. Uh, we, we, we gather that the interior minister himself is in this particular meeting in uh, So is the inspector general of police, uh, David Asantia Pietu. He is in this meeting there. Director of Operations of the Ghana Police Service, uh, COP Dr. George Akufu Dampare is in the meeting. Um, ACP uh, David Eklu, who is the Director of Public Affairs at the Ghana Police Service, is also in the meeting, as well as the Acting Director General of the uh, Criminal Investigation, uh, you know, Investigation Department, um, ACP uh, Tiwa uh, Adodankwa. Th those are some of the senior police officials who are participating in this particular meeting. It's been ongoing for a while. It's been ongoing for the last two to three hours. And uh, we understand that um, the conversation has expanded to the extent that the MPs are asking to get details on statistics when it comes to the general crime situation in the country. Um, it, it's a conversation that's evolved even beyond just the killing of the police officer. The MPs were uh, demanding uh, explanations from the IGP on what has been done to avoid his men being shot because they've made references to such incidents when police have been attacked in the past uh, that the IGP has been responding to. But then it's even gone beyond that and they are looking at the general crime situation in the country and they are asking for specific details and statistics in that regard. Um, that meeting we gather will be rounding up any moment from now and then the police will be addressing the press. Aisha, in fact, I gather that um, the meeting has actually ended. Um, the various uh, senior um, officials are, are actually working out at the moment. Well, um, we will we, we'll get you closer to the action. Uh, we're we expecting that there would be a, a briefing by uh, the very uh, senior officials of the Ghana Police Service and also uh, leadership um, of parliament. The interior minister, um, Ambrose Derry himself, um, is present. Uh, he was part of the meeting. You can see him in the shot there with James Agalga, who is the minority spokesperson on defense and interior. Um, the officials have moved out. Let's hear from um, Ambrose Derry, even as he addresses the press after this meeting. We've had a very useful meeting. I uh, personally was out of the country. I came last night and then came here to meet members of the committee. Members of the committee have sat with us. There are things that are happening that are of concern in this country. There are things that we know have been with us for some time, but there are things that we need to work together as a country to deal with. First point we need to make clear, first point we need to make clear is that nobody can perpetrate an offense in this country and get away free with it. If we did that, then we are going to lose control. So what we did this afternoon was to give a briefing. First of all, the IGP gave the operational briefing and the members uh, welcomed the efforts of the police and they have found ways of seeing how we can more effectively deal with the situation as we have in the country now. But let me assure you that government is, is, is committed, president is committed, and this committee is working with us to make sure that this country is a safe place for all of us. Honorable in specific terms. Honorable in specific terms. the police force? Well, the matters of uh, logistics, by all means, came on. You know that uh, I've had occasion to say that we have different levels of shortfalls. First of all, from the personnel level, we have one policeman to 848 civilians. The United Nations says minimum one to 500. Uh, the government, you know, is starting some recruitment uh, this year of 2000. Some years we haven't had it. We need to do more. The president is committed. We are also aware of the logistical support that the president has given, 200 for bike um, uh, vehicles, 400 motorbikes. 
And that's because we are beginning to confront uh, different type of crime now using motorbikes that we need to change our ways. Then of course there's also the digital interventions that have come up. The, the stations that are open in Accra, Kumasi and Tamale to make sure a thousand cameras are out there. We need to carry it to a different level and we are doing that. But once we are that, we are also providing equipment to see what we can do about it. But yes, there's more room to do more things and I can assure you that we are committed to doing that. Specifically, that's the, that's the um, interior minister uh, there um, addressing the media and responding to questions on the uh, security situation. Just behind him is the um, Inspector General of Police, uh, David Asantia Pietu. When, when we, we've learned that we should talk about things in general, but I can give you statistics, and they're here, of dead breaks over the years, but we would only be winning an argument. You get what I mean? Something happened there. The police are on top of it. They're investigating. They're making progress. We believe we'll get back the people who have perpetrated it, and we'll deal with it. In the same way that when they were attacked, uh, when people were drawing from Agogo, people were shot. They have investigated. We've got people in, and we are going on. And the investigations are also revealing other sources that tells us where people are getting some arms and rest from. So they're making some progress. Yes, we are always prepared to do better than we are doing. And I've said it at Nosium that the president says that he wants people to feel safe, and that's a higher standard. But things out of hand? No, they are not out of hand. No, the, your IDP is standing just behind you. So that's um, the um, Minister for um, Interior there assuring that the, the necessary steps have been taken to protect all Ghanaians to avoid a situation of uh, continuous situations of murder. Let, let, let's, let's hear the yes, IDP. We've had a number of policemen killed. Last year, in spite of all that we've said, four. It was four policemen who died. One policeman dying is one policeman too many. We want zero. We don't want any of our policemen to die. But having said that, you said eight have died. Then if you look at the statistics over the years, I'm sure there are several IGPs who have been sacked. Would that have solved the problem? I believe that we need to confront the issue. What happened about Kobenya? We want to know. How, what went wrong? How can we make it better? Those are the issues that we discuss with the, with the committee here. I'm standing with somebody. I was just telling him that he left the ministry before me. These are things that we need to talk about. If you're talking about Fulani headsmen, it's a thing that's been with us. Growing up, even me, when I was young, President Kaole is coming and going. We have to think of ways to deal with it on a permanent basis. It means that we have to work together and see how several ministries can come together and work a permanent solution. Because all we've done over the years having sent them away. We've moved them out of Agogo. They've gone to other parts of the country. So we need to deal with it. Yes, must they be dealt with? Yes, they must be dealt with. We must be on top of it. But how to get a sustainable way of dealing with it? Look, several things we are confronting now. We used to look the other way with uh, Galamse. You, the media, have played a major role to support the president's effort. We are focused there. We used to look away from uh, land guards. You were all here. Over the years it has happened. There was this handsome a policeman that I used to admire so much called Ninja, who was on, on, on TV every day. And I was learning a few antics from him. We know what happened. They were killed and they were this. These are challenges to our security. We will deal with them. Have we lost control? No, we haven't lost control. Can we do better? Yes. Is government committed? Very much so. And moving forward. But we have profited from the suggestions that they have made here. And we are going to work together and make sure that we make Ghana uh, better. Morale of the personnel, morale of the personnel, finally, the morale of the personnel. Morale of the personnel, there are various ways of dealing with it. For instance, when we, before we came in, the personnel were not even paid uh, rent allowance. We paid them rent allowance. We are talking of securing them, first, by insurance. What happens when they die? We are even thinking of other ways to do it better. You get what I mean? And also, and also, we are thinking of their protection, protective clothing. All those arms and the rest of them, it's a holistic thing. Yes, we are working hard to make sure we're moving forward. Are things where we want them? No. But are they out of control? No, they're not. Are they worse than before? No. 
But we need to get better than we are doing. Yes. Very finally on Fulani, yes. uh, driving them away, is that the best solution from Abugo specifically? The confrontational approach, many have criticized it. Is that the best way to go? Yes, I think the UDA media should help us. You know, there's a security architecture in this country. At the district level, you have the DICEC. At the regional level, you have the RESEC. This is level chaired by the DCE. Regional level chaired by the regional minister. You have the national level. They were all working. Yes, we told you from there that there was a situation that needed to be contained. And we've lost people. People were shot there. But does that mean we're going to get reckless? No. It doesn't mean we're going to get reckless. The Fulani as a tribe is a noble tribe. The Fulani recalcitrant headsmen, the criminal people, will be dealt with in the same way every other criminal will be dealt with in this country. But having said that, I'm the first one to admit that we need a permanent solution. And the permanent solution is not just ad hoc things. We are talking about the agri ministry and other ministers coming together. Are we agreeing areas that will be grazing areas? Are we agreeing where they will stay? What are the conditions? But in all these old security agencies, I'll have to up their game to make sure that people are here have the right to be here. And you know the other challenge is that we have free movement of goods and persons. And Mr. President has opened for the first time our borders 24 hours. So the challenges are, are coming and we need to deal with them. But no one is going to do so regardless of the human rights of the people concerned. Except to add that we would not allow any force in this country to take over the country. And therefore, we will give reasonable force. And if you have a machine gun, reasonable force will be higher than if you have a catapult. But whatever the situation is, this country must be in control of its destiny. President is committed to making sure that we feel safe. And for they, those they, who are being shot, what's the plan in terms of helping take care of their families? Is it, do you have anything, such comprehensive plan? Well, I've told you that we've thought of one way is the insurance plan that we agreed to take of this. But there are other issues that have come up and we are going to see. We're going to see other ways of doing it. But what, be that as it may, we are addressing it for the first time to make sure that we give them assurance. The soldiers have an arrangement, probably we learn from them and, and make sure that our people do not lose their lives for nothing. You made specific reference to the statistics earlier. Uh, what do they show? The criticism is that it, it's, you know, crime is probably on the ascendancy, you know, ascendancy over the last uh, year or two, particularly because some of the issues have been topical in the media over the last two, the, you know, one well, two years. Let me tell you one thing. We, we, we welcome a very vibrant media because that's what is helping us to, to, to get the information. And that's why I praise the media, the support that they gave to Mr. President Initiative and, and Tegalam say. And that's what I made a point, that the whole of last year, we lost four policemen. But the, the, the amount of talk that we had we make you feel we lost so many policemen. But what I've said is that one policeman's life loss is one life too many. So at the same time, yes, we welcome this. This is all part of it because you also bring on board your views and the way we would go forward with it. What we should be careful not to do is to not maintain some standards. I have this joke that I want to share with you. Uh, when uh, uh, Mr. President said we had to fight land guards and then the police moved out and went to uh, uh, Kaswa. They did a wonderful job. One of the men who led is one of the person I called my nephew here and it was praised. So the police were praised when it was successful. But the government is accused when it's not successful. Let's be a little consistent. The police were praised and did a good job and they continue to do a good job. Can they do a better job? Yes, they can do a better job. Are we committed to doing so? Yes, we are committed to doing so. At least give us one credit. That we are not shying away from facing crime. We are cutting out. Mr. President has said, Gallam said we've had it. Resources were specifically allocated for that. Then we came to Calm Life and 200 vehicles, 400 motorbikes. There are still some in the pipeline that are coming to make sure that we fight. But we still have challenges, yes. So we have to assess ourselves and continue until we've got everything under control. We cannot do it without you. And we continue to say that's a national commitment. Now security experts we want on board, NGOs, everybody we want on board. He has to be on board, the committee, 
is being brought. The committee has been working to see how we can find a permanent solution to transhumans. And they're even prepared to go out to see how the practices in other countries are going to help us do it. So yes, we need a concerted effort. And that's what we're working on. We would be glad to get a from the IG. Yes. Because at the end of the day, the oppressions are the man himself. Once you have spoken, I think I don't have to. If you agree on this. No. What assurance? What assurance can you give to ordinary members of the public who are apprehensive following the shooting? We need that. I mean, they, they have. We are behind our men. I mean, we, we assure and reassure them that things that have happened is not going to break our resolve to protect the people of this country. And they should continue. That is our sworn mandate. And we continue to protect life and property and maintain law and order in this country. As well as the Ghanaians. Ghanaians. Yes, that once we are up in our game in protecting life and property, Ghanaians must be assured that they are in safe hands. Is it, is it, is it normal to have officers keep uh, unprovoked at the sale, or they have, they have to be transferred? That's why I'm calling for the head of the officials now. So that um, you had there, the uh, Minister for Interior, as well as the Inspector General of Police, um, um, there with those reactions. Um, let's, <laughs> let's, get, let, let's get additional reactions, James Agalga is um, the ranking member on the Defense and Interior Committee. So after everything you heard in there from the minister and the IGP, satisfied? Yes, um, we had a very fruitful engagement with the Minister of the Interior and of course the IGP and uh, the senior command hierarchy. They basically outlined a number of strategies that I cannot disclose, uh, which stra strategies uh, when implemented will contain and stem the future occurrence of what happened at the Kwabenya police station and other related issues. So generally speaking, uh, as a committee of parliament, we are satisfied with the engagement we have had. What did he hear differently? So Not to see, go into the specifics in terms of strategy. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what, what did he hear differently? Because yesterday when we spoke to you, uh, you, you were quite worried about the security situation in the country. Yeah, of course. And that is why we thought that it was prudent to engage with the police, the, the Ministry of the Interior, which engagement has happened. And I'm saying that the issues that came up for interrogation were uh, done. There was some in-depth uh, uh, exposition with relation to the issues and we are generally very satisfied with the so outcomes. So for you was it just a, a communication issue and the information not reaching you about what is being done to deal with the no, situation? No, no, no. An which is issue, something yeah. happened, a life was lost and we all felt troubled that, listen, um, this is not the first time uh, you remember what happened at the Afram Plains and coming uh, on the back of that we lost another life at Kwabinya. So we were just wondering whether or not the Ministry of the Interior, the government and the police have strategies to contain and stem the future occurrence. Do of they have incidents. strategies? Do they yes, have they have, but I can't disclose them yes. here because, I mean, they have security implications. Yes, are you assured by these strategies that have been made known to you? Uh, yes, of course. I, the assurance has been given and I would want to say that, yes, I have confidence in the police. I have always maintained that they are very professional but some other critical issues that that that